FedEx Express is currently a network that <clears throat> is run by FedEx employees. Uh, it is not done by the contractor network, but you'll see all the time on the roads where FedEx Express deliveries are made at one stop, and then a FedEx ground driver will come to that same stop 20 minutes later, an hour later. And so it's very inefficient. There's essentially two networks operating in the same area. And so FedEx is trying to combine those into one uh, network across the country, across the continent. Now, uh, in the vast majority of areas in the U.S., it's going to be something where FedEx Ground is absorbing the FedEx Express network and taking that volume. So you as contractors will be receiving Express volume, and there's added, there's other things to consider there. There's tons to talk about there, and we actually have some sessions from the Expo, too, if you want to see uh, Jesse kind of give all the details on that Express integration. But the, the, the short answer is that in the U.S., that express volume is coming to the ground network. It happened differently in Canada. So if you see that model and saw what happened there, express was much bigger in Canada than the ground network. And, and it's kind of flip, flip flop compared to what it is in the U.S. So up in Canada, FedEx Express absorbed the ground network. It's, it's kind of the opposite here. Um, <clears throat> now, it would be very difficult for FedEx to even imagine absorbing the ground network in the U.S. It's essentially not possible. So one, they have been testing and rolling it out in, in waves in the U.S. So we very much uh, expect that to continue, that uh, you know, there's pockets of the country that have picked up the express volume that should continue for about the next 12 to 18 months as FedEx continues to roll it out stage by stage. Uh, and then really the, the main U.S. areas that are different are Alaska and Hawaii. Those are essentially completely different networks anyway. Alaska is essentially similar to Canada. And then Hawaii, that's always been different. You have to have planes to hop to and from those islands. That's always looked different. But in the lower 48, we still fully expect Express to come into the ground network.